EPA and Digital Way Meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for November 19th, 2021. It is Friday, end of the week. Finally, right? Uh, that means today's video forecast is sponsored by George's Quick Stop Cafe in Marshalls Creek, Pennsylvania. They are on Milford Road, which is also Route 209 in the Stroudsburg area of Monroe County. They're your one-stop shop for food, beer, wine, and fuel. They're locally owned and operated and truly care about their customers and community. They have a very vast beer selection, which is right up my alley. Wine labels from every local Pocono winery, which is right up my wife's alley. And food prepared and cooked on the premises by a professional kitchen team. They are Georgia's Quick Stop Cafe, proud sponsors of the Friday video forecast. So today, we're in the wake of a cold front that came through last evening, brought some showers, and uh, we're snapping back to reality. So temperatures going to be back into the 40s after many areas yesterday were well into the 60s and some areas even hitting 70. We're back in the 40s again. Now, I don't want to give the impression that uh, these temperatures here over the next couple of days in the 40s is what normal is. Normal is not 40s yet we're still in the 50s for normal high temperatures across the region so this is still colder than average it's not january cold or even december cold but it's still colder than average and we're colder than what it should be so we're going to be mostly sunny today in the wake of that front but it will be breezy and so that with that uh, those temperatures in the 44 to 48 degree range today it's going to feel like it's in the 30s because these wind gusts that are expected today are going to be generally 15 to 25 miles per hour, okay? And it's going to go up through about mid-afternoon before we finally start to back down a little bit. And then once we get in the overnight, we're going to drop off pretty dramatically. So 15 to 25 are the common gusts. I can't rule out a gust that gets in the upper 20s or maybe even near 30. But uh, most of those common gusts will be between 15 and 25. This goes right through mid-afternoon and we finally get to evening. These start to diminish during the evening. And then when we eat in the overnight, we are... Clear and cold and light wind. That is a recipe for some scattered frost. And when I say cold, it's going to be low to mid 20s in the uh, interior. So it's going to be pretty chilly overnight. Uh, probably below 30 even down here in the Philadelphia, in and around the Philadelphia metro. So it's going to be pretty cold. Okay, so cold night overnight tonight. So when you wake up Saturday morning, scattered frost to go with that as well. Uh, here is the uh, look at the, the map today. As we move this forward... Uh, we have the cold air settling in well, through Saturday, so Saturday is going to moderate maybe very ever, ever so slightly here on Saturday. Don't get excited, though. The wind's going to go away, though, so it's going to feel a little bit better. And then we get uh, high pressure on Saturday, which is going to give us mostly sunny skies, partly cloudy skies later in the day, okay? Uh, and then on Sunday, we're, we're looking for an increase in clouds, so we're probably going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies during the day on Sunday, but no precipitation. It looks like it comes in uh, fairly late in the day or late in the evening. Uh, is the next frontal boundary coming at us. Now, this is not a snowmaker. This is not a nor'easter. This is not a big big coastal storm that's been uh, advertised maybe several days ago. And and, and uh, at this point, if somebody's still holding on to the idea that there's going to be a coastal storm, uh, you might want to stop listening to them entirely because they don't know what they're talking about. This is just a cold front, as I've been talking about for the last couple of days, coming through overnight Sunday night into Monday morning, and it's going to bring some showers. Okay, not a tremendous amount of rain here, and it looks like you're going to be maybe like a half inch or so, maybe less than that of rain during that period into Monday morning, and then this is going to move through. We become partly cloudy on Monday afternoon once that rain stops, and it's going to turn a little breezy. Not really crazy wind yet, but breezy, okay? Uh, cold air advection is going to work in. You're going to have temperatures plummet, so we're going to have temperatures... On Sunday, they're going to jump up to maybe the lower 50s. And then once that front comes through on Monday, you might have highs in the uh, lower lower 50s again or near 50 in the morning until that front moves through. Then the temperatures will drop during the afternoon. And Tuesday's going to be a very cold day. And it's going to be a windy day, it looks like. So we're getting over to the long-range projections of the wind for Tuesday. It could be a windy day here with uh, winds a little bit stronger than we're dealing with today. Today's 15 to 25, isolated 30. You could have some gusts here. Maybe this is more looking more like 15 to 25 and gust to 35, maybe even higher than that. Okay. And that's going to be on Tuesday. This is still cold air advection related. It's not really a pressure gradient deal as it looked like it was going to be the other, the, a couple days ago when there was a chance for uh, an offshore low to be not too far away and a pressure gradient to between creating that. But there's still going to be some windy conditions here on, on uh, Monday. So we're expecting 15 to 25 miles per hour 
common gust, and then you have some gusts up to 35 or so uh, during the day here on Tuesday. But it's going to be cold on Tuesday. Two, or, uh, temperatures are going to be in the 30s for most areas in the interior. Maybe getting the low 40s down here by Philadelphia, but that's it. That's all you're going to manage on Tuesday for highs. And then after that, we are mostly sunny on Wednesday in the wake of the system as it pulls away. And Thanksgiving Day right now looks like it's going to moderate a little bit. We're going to get back close to the 50-degree mark, maybe lower 50s for highs. It won't be too bad uh, here on the Thanksgiving holiday itself, but it does look like it's going to be a dry day in its entirety on Thanksgiving Day. So we'll continue to follow this throughout the week ahead, give you more specifics on that system uh, Sunday night into Monday morning with some rain totals and things like that uh, and the expectations beyond that as we move forward in future forecast videos. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchus. That is your outlook for November 19th, 2021. Have a great Friday.